Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna show you how you can create from scratch some of the most used Melodic Techno bassline. Uh, we're gonna focus on bassline which are kind of percussive, pluckier, uh, syncopated bassline uh, which sound usually like this and I'm gonna show you different way how to create them, give you different tips. As well, we're gonna talk about the sound design of the bass sound you just heard. All right, so let's get started. So we're gonna start with basic groovy bass line. This is pretty simple, pretty effective. I'm just gonna create a MIDI clip here. So here the clip is one bar. I'm just gonna reduce that to half bar, two bit, and I'm gonna go around F1. And you need to right click and make sure your grid is in 116. Basically with that, you have like kind of the possibility of putting eight notes in this space. I'm gonna fold so like this, I will stay just with this same note. And now one trick for this kind of very bouncy rhythmical bass line I like to use is to make sure you don't have two notes separated by more, more than two notes bass. You see, the thing is, if you do that, you will probably have a more chill and deep uh, sounding bass line. Here I want something rhythmical bouncy. So I would say no more than two notes separate each other. It can be one, it can be close to each other. And if you just follow this rule, uh, create something, for example, like this, you will have most of the time something very rhythmical. And then obviously you can just like duplicate and create multiple versions of the, of the same clip and try different things, just moving notes, maybe moving like this and like this. Duplicate, or you can even go just like this as well. But then you can really add extra. Or even create a lot of different patterns. You can see I already have six different patterns which sound all different and uh, which are pretty good. Maybe something like that. Try like this. Yeah, why not? And then you can even like. So yeah, you can see just in few minutes how many different pattern uh, I've made. Now I'm gonna duplicate this one here, and I'm gonna put it like this. And for example, I have this one, and I'm gonna duplicate. And one interesting thing you can do is to create triplet baseline. So you need to right click on the grid and select triplet grid. And you can see now on this grid, the two first notes are still on the grid, but these two are kind of off the triplet grid. So I'm just gonna slightly move them to be on the grid and you got something. So it's slightly different than give a nice groove but one thing you can do as well interesting if you keep in triplets is to do some rolling bass line so i'm gonna switch the grid to one fourth and you will see now you have just three notes into your two beat and now it sounds like this but you can duplicate that and then it says to be the grid in one four we can put in one eight and then do the same create this rolling so rolling this mean like a note every division so here we have so here we have a little problem is because i have delay on my bass so i'm just gonna remove the delay here and you will hear it better or you can try to change the delay time to have something a bit better maybe let's try with four you can slightly switch one side so like this is creating a little bit of stereo that's really up to you i'm gonna set back everything to normal so triplet baseline can be an interesting and different way to create your rolling baseline speaking of rolling baseline i'm gonna quickly talk about the most classic rolling baseline sound so to in order to do that just remove the triplet grid and put the grid in 116 and then you get something like that so then again, you can add way much more variation and make, make it way much more complex. I wanna use this pattern to show you different way you can improve your baseline. So I would recommend to be very minimalist without, to don't try to use all the techniques in the same time on the same 
pattern because you will just get something very messy. It's usually good to just do one or two. The first one, it's shifting an octave upper one of the notes, usually is the one at the end or... But here again, you can get a bit more creative and maybe do something like this. Or maybe just... Or you can even combine the two we just seen, so one like this. So putting this one up. One thing that can create a bit of confusion is changing the, the length of your pattern and creating something to make polymeter rhythm. So let's try. kind of create a weird hypnotic feelings as well. You can obviously play with the velocity. I like to do like this kind of crescendo effect where you will have the one off beat up stronger than the other one. So let me bring back this one like this. Let's try. Compare to... So you can combine them. Maybe you can duplicate and actually and have these two down. These two up, but this one down. You can have some groove with the groove pool or even use slightly shifting each knot to create some kind of swing. Uh, I usually don't like to do that for a rolling bass line because it's kind of, I feel like it's less energetic than it should be. It might work for previous pattern like this one where adding a bit of swing uh, might help a little. So this is the one shifted. And the normal one. It's a, for me, there is no good or bad, it's different feelings. Uh, one is more energetic and robotic and the other one is more like groovy. One thing that can be done as well is to play with different delay time uh, to create different kind of movement. Maybe. That's one thing you can experiment with for your baseline. And yeah, that's how you can spice things up. Uh, I wanted to talk about the last type of baseline slash tom. Remember on the first pattern when I told you like to don't have more than like three notes, more than two notes space. Uh, here you can obviously break this rule because with tom pattern you will have something more deep. It's usually for tracks which are a bit lower in BPM or either you will have a legato bass and you will have just the tom on top which is gonna help the groove or even sometimes you just have the tom which is doing the bass line but it's way much more uh, let's say chill and calm than this energetic and, and groovy bass line. So for the tom pattern so we're gonna stay in F and here we're gonna keep half bar for now but you're gonna see we're gonna quickly need to go to a full bar to have this more bass slow and chill groove. So we can start with something like this Still, this one is still groovy. I'm gonna reduce the BPM to 120. But then, after you can space them way much more. And. You can try with a tom sound more. So this you will need to have some sort of other sound. So here I have a legato bass and it will help support the groove. Here again, you can experiment. Move like this, maybe add like this. But 
but this kind of bass line usually work as well with a synth sound like this one i've got maybe adding a bit of delay So one thing I will do all of this MIDI pattern I created and I have other more tom pattern as well. Uh, I will put them all in the file where you, that you can grab for free. I will put the link in the description with all of the products of the bass. So like this, you can experiment and try things. Now let's talk about quickly about the sound of the bass line. So, so this is kind of a classic sound. I've made already two or three videos. I put the link in the description about rolling bass line and this type of sound. It's pretty easy recipe. It's most of the time just a sawtooth sound that you apply a low pass filter and the trick is to basically open this filter very fast with an envelope so this way you get blocky sound and then saturation to beef things up and then like i said you can add some delay reverb and i add a bit more saturation on the end of the chain and with some saturation compression and you have the sound then obviously you can always experiment with different waveform different type of filter here i used as well a bandpass to get this i don't know just get this roundness don't forget you can add some sub as well like i said i'm not gonna spend too much on this patch because i already made plenty of video about how to make this type of sound you will have this patch anyway as well for free with the midi file so you can examine it in detail what does what and do some reverse engineering so yeah that's it for this video i hope you learn a few tricks i hope it's gonna help you creating good baseline uh, if you want to support me the samples that i use come from my melodic techno drum sample pack i put it in the description as well you can grab it and and yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys, and see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.